Today I want to share with you one of the simplest ways to relieve pain at the base of your neck in the rhomboid area or down your arm. It's actually inspired by someone who commented on one of my videos that this technique saved him from spinal surgery and gave him total relief in only about two days. So let's check it out and some variations you can try. Try this version first. Put your head against a wall with something soft behind it, but not too big. Lengthen the back of your neck and then keeping your chin down, push back firmly for five to eight seconds and repeat that five times. This opens the space around the nerves and if there's jammed joints in the area, it can sometimes release them. You should feel a nice stretching sensation in your upper back as you stretch the deep spinal extensors. One of the great things about this simple exercise is that we use deep neck flexors at the front of the neck to tuck our chin down and push back. And this relaxes muscles at the back that add to that pain and restriction. So this is something we call reciprocal inhibition. Now I personally prefer to do this technique face up on a bed without a pillow with legs bent, arms down beside the body, and stomach muscles engaged to stop the lower back from arching when I do it. But try this variation too. Do the same as version two, but this time raise your arms up and down slowly as you push your head back. This upwardly rotates the shoulder blades on both sides, stretching the levator scapula muscles which are the most common muscles to get tight when we have problems in this area. And it also draws nerves through that space that we've just opened between the vertebra, essentially flossing that nerve space. This is the most common problem that I see in practice. So I've got a few videos now on how to get relief from problems in this area. So I'll leave some links in the description box below. Anyway, let me know which variation you like the best. And if you've got something that really works for you, let me know in the comment section below too. Okay, cheers.